booty. Burgers. This is the Big Burger Flip Off. You ready? We're ready. Thank God. We're ready? We're ready. Alright, 4.45. Producing one time winner and now two time judge, Judge Biggie Cheeseburger. What's up? How's it going? How is it going, Judge Biggie Cheeseburger? What are you excited for today? What are you What are you looking for in, in a perfect burger? I'm excited for the creativity. I think the judges are going to really ramp it up this year. I'm expecting some high quality competition. I I, I agree. And uh, and one question for you: Who would win in a fight? Mm. A grizzly bear or a silverback gorilla? Grizzly bear, easy, no chance. Five inch claws, not a competition. Whoever asked that is a moron. I agree, 100%. Grizzly Bear takes it, no competition. Let's move on to another judge intro. Let me, let me. Introducing second time judge, Judge Swole. How's it going, Judge Swole? No longer that swole, but happy to be here. Okay, we'll just go with Judge Matt for now, but it's Judge Swole in our hearts. I'm We're, still kind of toned. You're still kind of toned. T judge toned. What do you think is going to be the most important thing for the competition today, for the chefs? What do, what do you want them to bring that's really going to make them stand out? I think we've gotten a lot of like um, variations in the basic burger formula. I want to see more creativity with what they can bring to the table. Bun presentation, differences in the patty. We've had some different patties before, right? But like, I feel like it's all boiled back down to the same kind of homogeneity and so I'm seeing I want to see how people can innovate on like a burger formula you know okay absolutely no homogeneity for judge toned let's That's move right. on to another judge intro oh, yeah. introducing first time judge judge pickle princess <laughs> Judge Pickle Princess. I'm doing pretty good. I'm primed. I'm ready to go. How do you? What, are you? Are you nervous at all about having to eat seven burgers? I'm just relying on my fellow judges to carry me through. I know I don't have. I have a big stomach. I'm not gonna lie, but um, they're gonna carry me. If I need them, they're there. And they are veterans. Both of them have judged before. Yep. They kind of know what they're doing. All right. And just one more question for you from the crowd. Colin Coombs would like to know. Any golf tips? Asking for a friend. Oh my god, don't overthink your T-stroke. Just fucking drive it. Drive it out. You got it. Putting can't help you on that one. I'm garbage. Seven iron is key though. Seven iron, key. Okay, to all the chefs out there, seven iron is key. Let's move on to the competition. <laughs> Are you rolling? Are you rolling? Yeah. I'm gonna be plated and at the judges. This guy's still gonna be medium rare. <laughs> a minute or two? Yeah. Mine are very thin. That's true. Kind of sucks for you. I'm gonna put I gotta wash two. my hands. That's my thing. Ooh, nice. That's nice. <laughs> I got a little loose off the line. What's the big deal? No, I'm just. If I mess three up, I got one. If I don't mess any up, we got extra food. Here we go! Here we go! Already? Wait, hold on. Oh my god! Alright. Oh. Oh. It's potato sticks! Okay, so I'm up. gonna put it back. Wow. Alright, I'm listening. This is right. called Donut Knock It Till You Try It. When you're the first burger, you, you are the you are the the basis, right, for future. 
Yeah. Oh, I just licked my fingers and that was pretty good. Judges, don't be afraid to make a mess. Fucking huge. Oh god. Yeah. Uh, I, we need to cut. I know. This is getting a you little know what? messy. It wasn't made easy for you. Where do you think there's donuts from? Krispy Kreme. I feel like it feels it. like a Krispy Kreme. Good job, too sweet. Very clearly a self-made patty. Wait, there's I'm two burgers. Girl. This is an absolute disaster. I think the patty itself, you can tell that there's something beyond it that's not just like basic. Yeah. There's some kind of meat ratio in that, right? Okay. I respect that. I respect that. The potato sticks, they're not doing much for me texturally. I feel like there's a lot of soft with like the donut. It's very puffy. Maybe I didn't get enough. I think you didn't uh, get potato enough. sticks, but there's that's a, a lot a, but that's a structural problem, right? There's not enough containment. I mean, is it a good burger? Yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome. awesome. But awesome I think burger. it's losing some points on technicality here. Oh wow. Not a lot of crunch. Oh my god, I'm dying. Sweetness Thank is you. too much for me. Too much sweet. But the everything bagel seasoning on the burger is definitely the most for sure. And that sweet and whatever sauce, sweet and spicy sauce, very nice. Agreed. I appreciate the risk of the donut. I like it a lot. The sweet and savory, I'm all about it. I think the potato sticks, real texture adder. I think the burgers were cooked really well. Yeah, agree, agree. I think the burgers were cooked really well, well, which means a lot to me. Agree. Right? Nice little crisp on the outside. Uh, overall, enjoyed it. Appreciate the risk. I was a pretty good burger. Here we are with Chef G. Bush. Hey, Chef G. Bush, what do you think the judges thought of your burger? Well, I hope they thought it was delicious because it definitely <laughs> was. Um, glazed donuts are American staple, no problem there. It was probably a little structurally loose, I will admit, but the flavor should make up for that. All right, and uh, another question for you. Who do you think is the biggest threat right now in the competition, other than yourself? The biggest threat? I don't know. Sean's, Sean's got a good stuff, good thing cooking over there. He might be a threat, and he shouldn't be, but Wayne gets a lot of disrespect. Like, you get, Wayne gets a lot of respect every year that I don't think he deserves, so I'm going to say he's a threat. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, last question for you. Drew Lambert from Swantown would like to know, who would win in a fight? A grizzly bear or a silverback gorilla? Uh, obviously the silverback gorilla, not even a debate. Grizzly bear is a nice, cute animal. It's good when you go to the zoo, but we just get dominated by the silverback gorilla. Way too big. Way too powerful. All right, Kinda thank like me. Kinda like me. Thank you, Chef G. Bush. Uh, let's move on to the next cut. All right. I feel a little bit. Here we go. It's coming. Here it comes. It's coming. Oh my god, I'm already here. Two oh at a god. time, guys. Two at a time. I told you to wait after round one. I did. It's after round one. Oh my god, that's so good. We're good. We're ready. Okay, I'm ready. Almost got away with it. What is the name of this bird? Oh, nice. Here we go. Ooh. I only have fries for you. Is that the name of this burger? Yes. <laughs> Romaine lettuce, tomato, light mayo, 100% grass fed Angus beef burger, Havarti cheese, Havarti, Havarti, sweet potato fries, caramelized onions, barbecue sauce, applewood smoked bacon on a brioche bun. This is just like I like the present. It looks nice. When you it looks good. Yes. This is a, the, Drew. Do you want a photo? That's the scariest thing for me. Okay, we could just pull apart the bacon. Patty, which I think is you know you have different categories of burger, right? Thick patty is an interesting play. I think it's harder to grill. Okay, so we'll see how it turns out. Impact though. All right. Judges are taking their first bites. <laughs> I'm seeing some happy faces. I'm seeing some confusion. I like it. I like it. This is a good burger. Any thoughts? Uh, good. I like the sweet potato fries. Nice little risk. Uh, meat was cooked really well. Bun was prepared really well. Good choice of bun. Yeah. Toasted nice. And yeah, no. overall, good burger. Very good. I'm impressed Pretty so good. far. Pretty good. I, two good reviews so far. I, have I have a controversial view. Oh, I no. think the burger is almost too thick. I love it. I love it. I'm not going to say no to it. But is it balanced? Not really. You know, I don't know what kind of barbecue sauce it was, but it cut it well. It's a little sweet. A little bit sweet. I tried just the raw beef. It's kind of basic, but... It's a whiskey barbecue sauce. Whiskey, whiskey barbecue sauce. Okay. Yeah, so I think, you know, it hits a little bit of that sweet side. What I'd dock it for, honestly, you know, 
This is kind of a, a basic burger. I don't want to call it. It had that. sweet potato fries. That's not like it's some groundbreaking on thing. What burger. do you get on the side on of every burger. fucking Here's burger? What Here's do you get on the, the side of every fucking burger? Fries or sweet potato fries? Wait, what do you get? Have you had, on, get the have you had on the burger? Cue the ace of It doesn't music. matter. It's I the do. same exact Mezzled thing. Mezzled it. This is an absolute disaster. And we're here with Chef Nick Mo. Chef Nick Mo, what do you think the judges thought of your burger? Um, I think they thought it was pretty good because they came and told me it was pretty good. And I also think that naming my burger after a song was a pretty dead giveaway that it came from me. <laughs> Yeah, I did actually end up singing the name of the song. So. I, I was hoping you were. I only have fries. Yeah, so, so that might have given it away. And uh, I have a question for you. Who do you think is the least threatening competitor in the Ooh. competition? Um, that's tough. TJ looks the least prepared. I'd have to go with TJ. But they're they looking pretty good over there. I don't know. I think it's going to be tough here. Yeah, I think a lot of people are looking pretty strong. And uh, one final question for you. F. Scott Fitzgerald from St. Paul would like to know, who is your favorite modern American author? Um, my cousin's boyfriend is an author. His name's Aaron, and he has a book uh, called something like 96 something. It's about his time in Ohio, and just like his growing up, his beginnings. He's a tall fella, and I think he just kind of led a, like a normal American life. I haven't read it. <laughs> He's my favorite author. <laughs> All right, thank you, Chef Nick Moe. I'm gonna make a mess next time. <laughs> All right, Nick's gotta be out in one minute. That's it. You kids are in trouble. It's not finished yet. Two minutes? You can like riddle if you want to make a real cheese. I do a bite show. 50 bucks. Sorry, we're not done. Either. What do you mean we say we finished? What are you talking about? If you're done, you're done. If you're not done, you're not done. That's how I see it. You ready? They're both done. You can go. Can you leave? What is the time? Look, one of the other. Look, this is your time. Yeah, get the hot. Is there another one on that? Yeah, no, I just gotta do the thing. That was in Yeah, that's the rest. It's not looking bad. Burger number four! <laughs> Oh, here's another one, here's another one. Nice. Oh, coming out hot. Oh, okay, like Italian bread or something? No, that's Is that not. Thousand Island that's dressing? It looks like Thousand Island dressing. Be. Points for the dressing. Do, 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 do. And okay. this burger, do, 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 do. the top bun looks it's a little titled. burnt. No, I think. Can you put it down, please? The Block Island Ferry. The structure. Well, I might need a cut. Yes, you cut. Okay, I think I'm going to go at this um, separately. Bird. Wait, what? This bird, this raw patty? Very peppery. Or like a peppery patty. Try the try the raw patty. Very peppery. Love the patty. Well, I'm not judging, but I just lick my fingers. Feeling the pepper. I like it the flavor. It tastes good. I like the flavor. The I don't know if the grilled cheese does enough for me texturally. I hate it. I hate the grilled cheese. You I'm hate not it? gonna lie. I hate it because it falls apart. It's soggy. It's not Thank even you. like crunchy, mm. fresh. I was very it's close crunchy. on that one, wasn't it's I? It's not though. In the middle. <laughs> on the sides, it is. Bread Too here, much not a lot of patty. Big bread energy. Big bread energy. Trying the avocado. I don't know, man. The avocado didn't save it, so. I don't know. I think the avocado added a nice touch. If the onions were caramelized, it would be nice to I have feel that like the, sweet. It tastes like it's pepper. Good. It's a pepper it patty. It tastes like pepper. You know what? Put some avocado in that bite and that'll be good. Pepper patty? Pepper patty. Yeah. You getting it? Does that. Does good grilled cheese a burger make? No. Question mark. <laughs> you answer. Post a comment down below if, if good grilled cheese a burger makes. Uh, <laughs> Strict flavor wise, not bad. It's kind of one note though. It's it's very flat, a very flat, and I don't even want to call it a burger. I want to call it like a burger because it's not bun. That's part of the burger sandwich. The first thing yeah. we had had donuts. Yeah, and it sucks. So. <laughs> If that is Sorry. being too cut and dry, buddy. Here we are with Chef Sean. Chef Sean, how do you think the judges felt about your burger? 
Well, you know what? Honestly, I know my truth, and that's that this burger was fucking bomb. All right, that's what I know, that's what I feel, and that's all that matters to me. The judges, they're just people, okay? Even if they didn't like the burger, that's okay. It's their opinion, but they're wrong, all right? Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, okay, and uh, Chef Sean, who do you think is your biggest threat in this competition? Um, honestly, the biggest threat is obviously myself, because if I didn't overcome all of the odds that I had to get to be here, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. That is a great answer, right? I, I like that answer. And uh, finally, Guy Fietti from Flavortown would like to know, what inspired you to be a burger chef? Um, honestly, it was really just the invitation to be here. Um, I have no desire to be a burger chef at all. I'm just here for the participation. All right, thank you, Chef Sean. Let's Thanks, move guys. on. Originally, it was supposed to be uh, brioche buns, but I couldn't find them. Left. Ten minutes we left. Ten minutes left. Yeah, just fucking they, they didn't go on. Yeah. Right here. Bun through. Huh? I am good. I paid Ready? TJ for it. Uh, go. Oh, hello. wow, that was fast. Fresh. Oh, look at that. Fresh. This burger oh, is good. titled The Winner. The Winner. Is that Pepper Jack that I see on there? Description, you'll know. Okay. Yeah. I don't All right. Know I don't know if I like the cockiness it is here. Jack. It's Pepper Jack. That's not cocky as far. You'll know. Who cares? Obviously, it's cocky. Let's just try it and see. All right, if it all, sucks. all right, all right, all right. It's also ready? called The yeah, Winner. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Let's get into the cup. Uh, I'm doing it. That is the that is such a cool step. Do you want me to hold You're these? You're so good, Emily. <laughs> Never mind. Thank you, Brian. This is my time. <laughs> Holy shit! I yeah, want one. Like you want a my time? There yeah. You go. I think we should always go. skip this piece because this will Thank always you. be the squish piece. That's okay. Right. I'm gonna piece. take. I'm gonna do this. Something in it. Pickles. There's pickles on this. Feels like Charisse. Pickle yeah. princess approves of the pickle. Judge Peepy -pee likes the princess. <laughs> I do like the princess and the pickles. The princess and the pea. The thing, the oil that came out of that patty is ready to wreck my pants again. And not in like the, around a, in the top way. The composition is literally perfect though. Just generally not my favorite. Can you taste. bring the mic over to me? I got some shit to say. Not you, Anna. I, I, the, oh, I'm talking to our host, the host. Okay. All right, and we have Judge Swole with something to say Am here. I allowed to guess who made this burger? You can wager a guess. I got some shit to say. Look, I respect that you tried to put, include every ingredient that the judges said they didn't like. We got some tomato dislikers. <laughs> I'm a pickle disliker. Oh wow! And yet here we are with a burger with tomato and pickles on it. Now I know what your end game was here, TJ. I know what your end game was. You were thinking that if you made a flavorful enough patty, you thought if you made a flavorful enough patty, you could elevate the ingredients That's beyond our dislikes. Guess what? What if I had a pickle allergy? I'd be dying right Cucumbers, now. Cucumbers, the death. I'd be on my deathbed right now after eating this fucking pickle. Your burger tastes like a sausage patty. It's not a that, burger. It, it it's might a be juicy. Patty. I'm gonna finish eating it, but guess what? That's gonna reflect in my scores. You think you're some next level guy who's gonna bring some zing? to a basic ass patty with lettuce, tomato, and onion on it, some LTO. Guess what, we used that at the Texas Roadhouse where I used to work, all right? You get off your high horse and you pander, all right? Put some fucking sauce on there, all right? Some sauce, some something. Uh, okay, some drama is developing at the judge table here. I do wanna hear from uh, from Judge Biggie Cheeseburger real quick before we head out, so any final thoughts, Judge Biggie Cheeseburger? All right. It was okay. Alright, it was alright, it was okay. Yeah, right, go, go, go. What's up? And here we are with Chef TJ, aka Chef Asian Zane. Chef TJ, how do you think the chefs, the judges, felt about your burger? Well, you know, as a chef, you gotta cook for the people, right? But these chefs, I mean, these judges, are kind of picky. They don't want pickles. 
They don't want tomatoes. They don't want this. They don't want that. But at the end of the day, a burger is an artwork. You gotta put in. We gotta put in to make it taste perfection. And if they like it, they like it. They don't. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. No. You know what? You gotta live your own truth. And uh, one last question for you. Robert Downey Jr. from NYC would like to know, is a burger a sandwich? Nah. All right, a burger's not a sandwich. Thank you, Chef TJ. Let's move on to another chicken. interview. A chicken sandwich is a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, breakfast buffalo burger. Description, it's a breakfast buffalo burger. Okay. Judges! Oh god, everybody sit! Are you kidding me? That was fast. This one will be super fast because part of it was that he wanted to show you how great it can cut. Ooh! Oh, 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 the croissant! Ooh, the croissant burger! It's a croissant! Oh, it's a croissant! Man. This is the breakfast buffalo burger. I love it. The description. What is up with the buffalo? The description buffalo. is. What do you mean? This is a breakfast is buffalo, buffalo burger. The last one had buffalo sauce. That was Thousand, that was thousand Island. No, that was buffalo. Was he said it was buffalo. Yeah. But can croissant <laughs> compare to donut? Oh, it's hot. Is this? <laughs> oh, fuck you. There's still the tomato on there. No, I, I think that's three small ones. Is that pepper or, or cherry tomato? They're cherry tomatoes. The taste passed. This is buffalo chicken dip. It, it, it's buffalo chicken this dip. This is buffalo chicken dip. On I'm a patty. I'm sure you're very happy. I'm very happy. This is so much better than the last a one. A different meat sauce. to another meat? Like chicken and you're beef? It. It's great. I'm yeah. all about it. Is this the first lying. double meat we've had? It was bacon. Mm. Yeah, that counts. First ever winner of the burger flip off. Judge Biggie Cheeseburger. Not what not did you think of that burger? Right? I think the croissant's an excellent choice. It goes so well with the buffalo chicken dip. Yeah. Right? Um, tomato, take it or leave it. It's fine. Uh, burger cooked pretty well. Overall, pretty good. Very cuttable. Very cuttable. Uh, the structural integrity is off the charts. Um, I, and I commend it for that. As, uh, good burger. All right. Good. Let's go to Judge. Pickle Princess, what do you think? So, I love the chicken, buffalo chicken dip, separate. Patty, not really my favorite cooking style. Very gray, very um, not charred, uh, not a lot of taste in and of itself. So very under seasoned. Croissant, perfect croissant, but I don't think that they cook that. So I want to point that out. This croissant, beautifully toasted, not personally cooked. Um, what does that mean? Tomatoes, fuck the tomatoes. Everybody said fuck you, Anna. They don't care. Um, overall, all right. All right, yeah. All right, thank you, Judge. We're gonna move on to Judge Swole now. What did you think of this burger? I'm a guy who normally doesn't like buffalo chicken. It's just how I am. I don't love buffalo chicken. I ate the whole thing. I think that the buffalo chicken meshed well, but I also think that you're relying too much on the buffalo chicken. When I tried the patty itself, to be honest, I didn't get that much out of it. I would have preferred that maybe, I, I don't know if you did this, and if you did, unfortunately it didn't come through, but the buffalo didn't come through in the patty at all, right? It felt like you grilled a normal burger and added a lot to it. I didn't detect a lot of creativity in the patty itself. Uh, the buffalo chicken, it's my fault for not putting it in my dislikes on the on the sheet, so I'm gonna reserve judgment on that, that's my fault. I actually think the buffalo chicken worked pretty well. Croissant, I think that was amazing, especially compared to the donut we had first. I think there was a lot more like metered, like level-headed approach compared to the donut. I think the donut was good, but the croissant was like solid. Like judge whatever said, uh, structural integrity, best one i've seen my problem is i think you're relying too much on your additional toppings rather than the patty itself i didn't get a lot of patty there. okay well it seems like the patty was a little bit of a problem for this one but they liked the bun a lot 
say cross section wise. Cross section? <laughs> the only one who's held up. The only cross section. You can see each individual piece. It's pretty cheesy. That buffalo dip did not lack. The buffalo dip was very good. And here we are with Chef Wayne. Chef Wayne, what do you think the chefs and the judges thought of your burger? I think the judges loved it, maybe 80%. The other chefs, I don't know. I think the other chefs might have been a little intimidated. And speaking of the other chefs, who do you think is the biggest threat in the competition? Probably myself. That's a good answer. And uh, <laughs> one more question for you. Wayne would like to know, <laughs> hot dog or hamburger? Uh, actually, a hamburger with a sliced hot dog on top of it. Ooh, all right, all right. Thank you, Chef Wayne. Mm. Should wait longer. The impromptu. <laughs> the impromptu. I just came up with that. Okay, a description? The creme de la resistance. I don't think I said that right. I'm gonna put that. <laughs> Ground prime ribeye and mixed in with Wagyu beef fat. Shredded lettuce. I give you a brioche bun, Wagyu beef fat, mild cheddar cheese, and a secret sauce and onion puree. Toasted buns. Here we go. Second to last burger. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Sorry. Double patty. Oh, the different double patty melt. Mm -hmm. Arugula. Turn. Wow. Arugula. Ooh. Look at that bun toast. That's a brioche. Wow. That's a brioche. Wow. This wow, is wow. Le impromptu. Le impromptu. I give you a brioche bun with the creme de la recessa quote from the chef. Ground prime ribeye mixed in with Wagyu beef fat. Wow! Oh, oh wow. baby! Toasted buns. Bringing out the A5. Lettuce. Mild cheddar cheese and a secret sauce with an onion puree. That sounds awesome. This says somebody, somebody That's... thought about this for like six hours. They sat, they sat on this yeah. recipe. They wrote out a nice. list. They're like, what do I want in my burger? A knife. I the see the... You see this juice? The yeah. juiciness? That's the Wagyu, I think. Yeah, I think so too. I'm a, I'm a weeb. All right. It oh, wait, is. No, Drew does. No, he doesn't. Yeah. He's got it. And then there's always one squishy. Oh. Not arugula. Oh man. This is what I wanted. Oh, no. That's not the knife you started. They're always Yo, I'm having a visceral reaction fatty. To, this, to this one. It's fatty. This beef is phenomenal. The beef quality, the quality of the beef. It doesn't even need the sauce. Does anybody else want this? Do that. Just people, what do you think? Um, it tastes haute couture. It tastes elevated. There are layers to the depth of flavor. Um, I can appreciate the cheddar. I know that it's a good cheddar. I know that the fat content in that burger, kind of on the higher side, but definitely pays off with the mouth feel. It's a very smooth mouth feel. Um, and I appreciate that the condiments are simple. They are. The special sauce, to die for. I could drink that out of a straw. I really could. That sauce is great. Great sauce, good um, bite to it. That that pureed onion, beautiful. Um, little fatty for me. That's it. That's it. Okay, just a little bit fatty, but otherwise, really good. Let's go over to Judge Biggie Cheeseburger because it looks like Judge Schwoll's still finishing up his portion. Judge Biggie Cheeseburger, what are your thoughts? That beef was phenomenal. Uh, that was the best meat prepared the whole day, hands down. Uh, the bun was cooked real well, but uh, man, it's just the meat, man. The meat really took the cake away. 
or whatever the saying is. I don't even know. <laughs> All right, took that, that meat took the cake away, everybody. We can move over to Judge Swole now. Looks like he's finished up. Judge Swole, what are you thinking? I know you had a visceral reaction here. I, I have a lot to say. I think that I'm gonna sound like a dumb chops judge here, but you know how the idea when you get like the main ingredient is to elevate the, the main ingredient? I think that everything they did like elevated the main ingredient. Bun, grilled perfectly. Whatever your meat ratio was with the Wagyu beef, yeah, it was a little fatty, but it was delicious. Onion puree, perfect. You're hitting my sweet spot. Secret sauce, I don't even think you needed it. I think it was grilled to perfection. Your buns were toasted perfectly. My one thing, I don't. I think you used arugula. Arugula was a little one note texture wise. I pretty much just got kind of like a softish burger. Um, that would be my like one negative. That was delicious and I could eat like seven of them. That was great. You could eat seven? I would have Easy one. front runner for me. I think you took <laughs> the beef to a totally protectable. new level with that. It was so good. <laughs> okay, a front runner from Judge Swole. We're here with Chef Corey, AKA Chef California. Chef Corey, what do you think the chefs and the judges thought of your burger? I hope they just notice that when they take a bite in, you'll see an explosion of juice and flavorness with a mixture of bitterness and savoriness, a bit of umami mixed in there, get all the taste buds working all together in such harmony. Harmony, is this the actual microphone? This is the actual microphone. There it is. And uh, one more question for you. Uh, Not Plankton from Bikini Bottom would like to know, what is the secret formula for your burger? California sand. Wow. California sand. The secret formula has been revealed. Thank you, Chef Corey. It is the all of them. Full of bacon. Like full oh, belly. Play that. Here we go, Casey. Uh, What's up, final burger! Final burger! Final burger? <laughs> it's the final burger! It's the final burger! <laughs> what do we got? Classic! Here we go! The oh, belly full of bacon! Oh, I forgot what is it called? Why the belly oh, full of bacon! Full spin! I tried like playing in the sand. It is just a bacon cheeseburger. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. Right. That's it. I share your point. <laughs> oh. You one better. Thank you. <laughs> a patty's fucking raw. It's a raw patty. It is a little it's a raw. red. It's raw. It's a little red. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, looks like we're ready. We'll, we'll start with uh, Judge Biggie Cheeseburger. The burger was not cooked well. No. Um... I don't know. Onions were raw. It's just, I couldn't finish it. Let me just put it that way. And I'm and I'm wow. hungry. I am hungry, and I couldn't finish it. Wow. Not good. Not great. Not good. Let's go in the middle. Um. Judge Pickle Princess, what are your thoughts? So, am I a cheddar person? We know this. No. <laughs> um. Do I appreciate the sauce? Absolutely, it's a good sauce. It's a nice sauce. It's um, I know Drew says no to the uh, raw onions. I love a raw onion. Uh, burgers fucking raw. So that's some garbage shit. The cheese. I said no, no to too much lactose. They don't care. They don't care about their judges. Um, the bun integrity though. On the better side of the bun integrity, I will say. Um, I appreciated that little bit of lettuce. Makes me feel just healthy enough, but not too much where I'm like, oh, lettuce. Um, and it's really just the sauce that's sealing it in. There's a good crust to the um, patty. So at least it's not gray on the outside, but it's gray in my heart. Let's move on to the final judge here. Judge Swole, what are your thoughts? Seven and a half. 
Everybody likes their burger different. I personally like some red in my meat. That was a little under for me personally, but I don't think I should dock points for that. Um, under, burger but, cooking competition, but yeah, but some people like it like medium rather. That was a little that's medium. Not rare, medium. That was, that's not medium. That's rare. That's rare. All right. That's rare. Um. Call it what it is. Presentation. I thought it looked really good. I thought it cut pretty well compared to a lot of stuff. Structurally, everything stayed together. But mm. when you're going up against stuff that feels like somebody's been like writing at a whiteboard for like five hours, I feel like just a bacon cheeseburger. Like back to basics is like a good idea, but like I don't know if it's gonna cut it in this application. So that's 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 well my said. that's my verdict. Okay, well, well thank said. you very much, judges. That was the final burger, and uh, we're gonna aggregate the scores and figure out the winner. Here we are with Chef Jay Higa. Chef Jay Higa, what do you think the judges thought about your burger? Well, it it depends on how they feel about a bacon cheeseburger. That's really what it comes down to. Um, I know I enjoyed it. So I hope they did as well. Okay, and who do you think was the least threatening competitor in this competition? Oh, that's tough. There was a lot of good competition this year. Every single burger I saw come off the grill made my mouth water profusely. So I'd say this is just based off preference. Probably Griffin's. Okay. But that doesn't have anything to do with what the judges might do. Sure, oh yeah, definitely. And final question, uh, sent in by Yildan Arugula from Poingerschliff. He wants to know, can you describe your first experience when burger meat touched your tongue? Orgasm. I can't agree more. Thank you so much, Chef Jay Higa. Thank you. Let's move on to another interview. <laughs> How many licks would it take to get to the Tootsie Roll center of your pickle? That's a tough question, Theo. Uh, Alright, how many burgers could you eat in an hour? A good few. Alright, a good few. That's, that, that's solid. Thank and uh, who would win in a fight? A grizzly bear or a silverback gorilla? Um, are we in the jungle or the forest? We're in an arena, a Roman arena. <laughs> a Roman arena. <laughs> you know, that's a tough one, but, you know, uh, I think that the uh, the grizzly bear there might take it with his claws. Yeah. They have like nine inch nails. That's correct. Also a good song band. That sort of thing. Good, good song band, yeah, definitely. Yes. Back to Anything else to say? I like turtles. Thanks for a minute on my camera. Post thoughts on the competition? Probably one of the best best field of competition I've seen in a while. This guy won the year, the last time that I was judging. So That's it's good true. to have him alongside me. Get in here. We've got some fresh, uh, fresh judging in here. I, I think, think, oh, go ahead. My fellow judges have been respectable. Mm. They've been kind. Except for that last one. I think I was too nice. I think I was too nice. I was a bitch and I'll, I'm okay I'll, with I'll it. Give, I'll give it to the competition. They did a lot better than last year. They years. stepped it up they big time. It up. Yeah. It's gonna That's come down to the wire. It is. It, it's yeah. just the nature yeah. of the competition. So. Yes, I agree. We'll see. Agreed. We'll see. We'll see. We're gonna calculate the scores. Yes, everybody's gotta gather around. All right, here we go. Gather around. <laughs> All right. We have the results. I will first be announcing the big loser. With a total score of, oh, average score, sorry, of 6.5 out of 10. Belly full of bacon by Chef Jay Higa. Oh, Justin. <laughs> Justin. Well, a good burger, Justin. Justin, it was good, I promise. Get these claps going. <laughs> Next, I will announce the top three in no particular order. I only have fries for you by Chef Nick Moe. Wow, I kind of figured that was good. I kind of figured that was good. Really? That was good. I just want to do something. Now we know where The Breakfast Buffalo Burger by Chef Wayne. Nice! Woo! Chef Wayne. Chef Wayne! Chef Wayne. And Lay Impromptu by Chef Corey. Woo! 
And Cali. <laughs> Our third place contestant was with a score of 7.63 out of 10. Chef Wayne. This is rigged. Wow. This is good, boy. Wow. That's good last year. This is good, bro. Not last, though, so. I know, I know. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Second place had a score of 8.13, and first, a score of 9 out of 10. Our winner for the third annual Big Burger Flip Off is Chef Corey. Yes. You get to go to Congratulations, we present this is you, for you with the golden spatula. Ooh, thank you. Taking care of it. <laughs> I couldn't have done it all without you. Especially you, Dylan. We miss you. But what we miss more is the unique tasteful. Nothing beats a burger. Any country, you'll find a burger of some form. Everyone tries to copy it the chicken burger, sloppy joes. Ugh. But nothing quite beats a great burger. Nothing quite beats a great beef burger. Congratulations again, Chef Corey. Thank you. You were my. Our past winners and our new winner. Okay, come on. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Drop that on there. Congratulations, Corey. Thank you.